Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we're going to do a little car tip today. And I figured since I do a lot of air conditioning work that I would talk about cabin air filters and the importance of changing your cabin air filter. Now a lot of you are probably not familiar or some of you may know about cabin air filters. It's, a rev it's been around for a while but a lot of people neglect this. They don't really change them as often as they should and this is what really causes your air conditioning sometimes to fail other than maybe a compressor going bad, low on Freon, all that. But this is a pretty good, this is a simple thing that you can do to um, prevent spending thousands of dollars buying a new air conditioner because you were too lazy to change your cabin air filter, all right? Uh, as you can see here, the filter here, what it does is it filters all the dust and dirt and it keeps your own coils nice and clean and they'll run better, operate. It's like similar to your house when you have a return air conditioning uh, filter, AC filter, that you got to change either every 30 days, three months, or whatever type of filter you got, this works the same exact way. They have to be changed every so often, and the last couple of cars I've worked on had been total neglect, <laughs> just about. Uh, they didn't ever change them, didn't even hurt, never heard of them before. So I'm here to tell you, spread the word about them, and this will save you thousands of dollars if you change these regularly, regularly. And you will not have any problems, per se, with your air conditioning. I can give you an example. My 2008 Kia Spectra 5 I had, I got rid of recently. That we get, we trade that in for the Mustang. <sighs> Wife wasn't apparently happy with that car. She wanted the Mustang, so that one out. But anyway, I had to own that car for about eight years. I bought it brand new, and I changed the cabin air filter out every 10,000 miles, according to the warrant. Uh, that was the uh, owner's manual. What, it, what they stated, and which that is the uh, what you should change them about is every 10,000 miles. So, if, what I do is every time I got that synthetic oil, which if you've seen some of my other videos, I explain why I use synthetic, the extended performance, and I change them every 10,000 miles. So I just make that this part of the oil change, changing the cabin air filter, and it it can be done within 10 minutes. It's not doesn't take very long. Most of them are inside the glove box. Or some of them might be outside the glove box. You'll just have to look around, find a video on YouTube for your vehicle. Uh, for on the Kia, it was on the inside the glove box, and it was easy. It was nothing to it. The Mustang's a little bit more difficult. Not not a whole lot, but it's on the outside by the battery. And if you need help you know, finding it, I'll be glad to show you, tell you where it is, or show it to you later. Just leave it in the comments, and I'll I'll help you out down there. But anyway, I had this Kia for eight years, and I, all I did was I changed the cabin air filter for every 10,000 miles. And I had put 180,000 miles on it, because I drove a lot. I drove about 100 miles a day to go back and forth to work when I was working for Pal Electric down there in Houston as an R&D uh, designer. So I put a lot of miles, so, but I never once had any trouble with the air conditioning. It worked great for years, never... I always blew cold and all I did was change out my filter now I've done a lot of these AC repair jobs because I do that on the sideline doing automotive AC for people and I've done and I've I have given them bills for over a thousand dollars and you know a lot of it could have been avoided sometimes they can't be it just depends compressors do go out they do wear out but if you do if you do this change it it will last you a lot longer and you'll get you know it'll save you money in the long run this little filter here now when i was doing them on the kia they were about 40 bucks for the wix filter right here the wix filter this was actually 20 bucks for the mustang that was from rock auto over there the mighty engine guard 2 which is uh was like three dollars three or five dollars off rock auto in fact i am selling that filter if anyone's interested and needs it for their car it is a uh, number let me see la 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 C A F one seven five six. I believe it was. For, I had originally I had gotten that for a twenty ten Ford Focus, somewhere around there. And apparently I didn't realize that Ford did not put cabin air filters in all their models, just certain models. I, mean, I think it was in in production or whatever. And I had picked one up because I was doing an AC job and I didn't realize it didn't have one. So anyway, I ended up eating that cost for that. So if you are interested in buying that while I'm here. Hit me up and I'll be more than glad to send it to you. Five bucks plus shipping, it's yours. If you don't see sold in the description, then it's still available. Just hit me up. <laughs> Man, I'm becoming a salesman advertisement over here. <laughs> but
But anyway, changing your air, ca cabin air filter is one of the most important things you can do to help your air conditioning system on your car. Really, it is. It's the cheapest thing. You can do it at home. You don't have to pay someone to do it. It's real simple. I mean, in the Kia owner manual, they actually showed me step-by-step -step instructions. Believe it or not, instructions on how to change it. How to get it out, which is pretty cool because I've never seen another car company do that or tell you how to get it. Usually I have to depend on YouTube videos like you guys are now. Especially on that Mustang. I didn't even know the Mustang had a cabin air filter because some of the vehicles do not have cabin air filters. Which brings up to my other point. If you're not sure if your car has a cabin air filter and you can't find it in your owner's manual, you can either go to like Rock Auto or um, O'Reilly's. And go find uh, your model and see if that is the actual available part. Sometimes what I do. Uh, the Mustang's a big deal for the uh, production model. Knowing what, what's your start date and your end date. For some reason, they changed up midway. So I have to remember because there's another one for the 2013 Mustang. And all it is is it's got some kind of little flange that comes out there and that's it. Not much of a whole difference, but it is a difference. Not sure what, what Ford was thinking, but they were thinking something I guess but anyway so that is really all the tech tip I'm gonna I can able to give you today but I can't stress how important to change you know change your cabin air filter it's easy I mean you can eat you can get a $20 one or a $5 one they work the same just change them regularly I get these wicks because I like them although they've been starting making China lately I'm not too really happy with that they used to be made in the United States when I was um, buying them for the um, for the Kia, but they've, uh, I think they made them in either in China or Mexico now. So I'm a little disappointed with Wix about that, or they're not made in the United States. But I guess everything's that way nowadays, so it's just the way it is. But either way, as long as they're changed out regularly, your AC will run for a long time. You'll help extend the life of your air conditioning. Now you're going to have to check Freon and do that other stuff, and when the time comes, I'll be more than happy to show you guys on how to check Freon, how to add it. All that kind of stuff, but I'll be for a later for a future video. And I hope this video found you, you thought was very helpful today. I'm sorry we're just doing a little tech tips today because I've got some major studying to do for my test this week. It's coming up here within a week, so we're just going to be doing light videos this week. Just tech tips and just, and hopefully here pretty soon we'll be hitting on some other stuff. Uh, such as my um, gold wing over here to the left. Let's see if I can get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's her. We're going to have to do a, um, a carburetor video. I know the internet is going to rejoice about that. She's starting to load up on me and starting to surge. I must have picked up some bad fuel and I got some trash. So I'm going to have to pull the carburetors off on that to um, get that fixed. And so when we do that, I'll be fixing a whole bunch of other stuff. So that will spawn a, a little mini series just about on gold wings. In fact, we might do so many gold wing videos, you guys might get sick of them. I don't know. Some of y'all probably rejoice up and down. Woohoo! And everything. But yeah, that's some of the stuff we're um, coming up on. Um, but anyway, if you guys have any questions or anything, feel free to you know leave something in the comments or email me or whatever. I'm always glad to help. Um, if you felt I left something out about the cabin air filters, feel free to add it into the comments. You know, I'd like to hear your thoughts. If you guys change them regularly or don't ever change them. And that, hear your stories. Those are always interesting to hear. But guys, that is going to do it for the day. And we will see you guys next time. Alright guys, you guys stay safe out there.